Hey guys, it's Lana. So today I am doing a chatty get ready with me in real time. I have a meeting I have to go to and then I have a couple of playwriting things later tonight. So this will be the makeup look for that. I have my hair still braided underneath this very, very lumpy headscarf until I'm done with my makeup and then I'll take that out and that'll be it. I am currently out of primer. I've not had primer for a straight three months. So we're not going to prime our face. Um, all I've really been doing for skin and moisturizing is using shea butter slash coconut oil. And then this first aid beauty moisturizer. And that's kind of my combo. And so, actually, I'm not going to use it. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Cool Earth. I used this yesterday. And it turned out so well. And so, you're going to recreate yesterday's look. And everyone said I looked really nice yesterday, so I like that again. So, update. It's like May. The world is happening. I'm a senior. I'm almost done with school guys and I'm so sorry I can't be like traditional teenage YouTube content where I tell you what schools I'm going to because I'm going on a gap year which is like not a shock if you've like been on my other channel um tea time with Lana link in the description um if you have never been on that channel please go on that channel it's like kind of my like steady and motivational lifestyle channel as opposed to this being more fashion and beauty. And so, I'll probably start doing more and more videos about gap years and stuff. And so, I want to make sure that you guys are up to date with all of that because I love them. I think I'm going to add a little more on the forehead and a little more around the mouth. So, see, so it's almost done. I have summer intensives for musical theater. One this summer I'm doing hair as well as a couple of outstanding auditions to figure out what I'm going to be doing in the fall and in early spring, right? I'm already, I'm already planning 2018. I've been planning 2018 since like February of this year, y'all. Like, it's wild. Next, I am going to take LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and Espresso to highlight under my eyes and other parts of the face. And then I'm going to blend that all out with a Real Techniques Beauty Swing. So I usually start with Dark Cocoa and do big ass triangle under both eyes. Um, I go down the forehead usually, you know, I don't know how my bangs are going to turn out. You never know. And just down the center of the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take espresso and layer that on top of some of the places that I put dark cocoa. So, I'm going to layer that. Not necessarily in a full triangle, just... A couple more like that. I'm gonna put a solo one on my nose and a really tiny one on my chin. Cause I don't feel the need to like highlight the chin. I just feel the need to like differentiate the chin from like others. Now I used to do a thing for like a quick second. I'm gonna start blending. Where I would like let this sit and I start to do my foundation because I saw I don't know who I saw do it it's someone I like I saw do it and I was like should I be doing that and I did it for a second and I like the look for like a straight month like I did it for a straight month and then for some reason I just like stopped liking the way it looked like maybe it's just because it might be just because I'm getting towards the end of these two um, concealer wool 
contraption doodads. I don't want to call them bottles. Squeeze tubes. There we go. Tubes. Where the liquid isn't as flowing so you can't get as much like a wet like just like a wetness there to soak into the skin so I just kind of stopped liking it or what that's just my theory on it but like I don't know man I just like stopped liking it I just honest to god hated it I'll probably like loop back around towards it because I feel the same way about baking like I go in and out of baking constantly and 80% of it is like one day I'll bake and it looks like so good. The next day I'll want to bake but I'll be like in a rush during my makeup. So there'll be absolutely no time. Take the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And with the other side, the side of my Real Technique sponge, I'm just going to... Do a light dusting. And then I'm going to get the chin. And I'm going to get down the nose. And I usually do down the nose and then forehead. It's a lot for forehead, but it's low key. I usually do down the nose, not even to like contour because I don't contour my nose because I don't get the point. Um, but I just like, I get really oily, so that's just an oil control. Um, but what I was starting to do with my brows is I just push them up and in closer into place with this spoolie, and I'm just going to take this pencil and kind of start to define a bit of what I want. What I was about to say, um, before my camera so rudely got full my memory card um I've been thinking a lot of just about like my senior year and like how like I'm totally like a shit senior like I go to online school and so I don't have like much like interaction with like teenagers on like a day-to-day -day basis there's only like three very specific things I do that like Um, I interact with teenagers with it. Wow, shit, they look good like this. My brows turned out really good today. My brows literally just turned out great. Let me check the time. <laughs> Yo, we're smooth late for this thing. It's low key. Um, this has now become like a five minute rush. <laughs> Spending all this time setting up my damn camera equipment. Um, and I just, like, was wondering, like, I probably should have vlogged a little bit more through my senior year, because I think that would have been, like, a really interesting, like, thing to see. I think I'm going to start vlogging more often, though. But just, like, seeing, like, I didn't go to prom, because I went to prom my sophomore year. I didn't really interact with teenagers. I didn't really, like, get wild and go party. Like, I didn't really do anything, like, fun, you know? Um, now I'm taking the Urban Decay eye primer. And then I've been like watching a lot of like videos lately about like senior years and college and college admissions and reflections on and rejections. Like just like really, really interesting like observances on the senior year and just thinking about the fact that like I didn't go through any of those. And I don't think it makes me a lesser teenager. And I don't even really think of myself as a teenager. You know, not that I think, like, I'm above teenage drama. But it's just that, like, I'm never really in contact with teenagers enough to deal with teenage drama. Truly. Because it's really me being, like, a self-sufficient little nut. And, like, doing my work and working on my plays and working on my magazine. And not really, like, interacting with other people, you know? Um, now I'm taking a flat powder brush that is so, so, so dirty because I use this every day and I do not wash it. And then um, a Shea Moisture powder in Sable, I think was the shade before it wiped off. And we're just brushing away the powder with that. And then I'm also going to set um, the eyeshadow primer. And so people tell me all the time... Um, I'm like not enjoying myself and I'm not being a teenager and I'm not having fun 
And the thing is, like, I'm having so much fun, and I don't understand why, like, other people don't think I'm having fun. Like, I'm having the time of my life. Like, I'm running my own business. I'm writing plays. I'm doing theater professionally. Like, I'm getting paid to do theater and to write. Like, those are my two career goals, and I'm doing them at the age of 16, and I'm graduating at the age of 16. That was not because I'm a whole separate thing. I, I would have done that anyway. I, I skipped grades at the beginning. That's a whole other story. I think I explained it on my other channel. I also think that video is super blurry. We'll probably be re-recording it. Um. Oh, mini pass. The reason I wipe it away with like a powder like this as opposed to a powder this shade that I used to do and they're not too similar, but you can definitely tell this one's lighter. Um, I like that um, wiping it away with this powder, which is closer to my skin tone, um, worked a lot better with like removing the ashiness and the cast that I felt like I got from the Sasha Buttercup. Um, and like I've had that like way before the like Laura Mercier deep powder, which I do want to get because that looks so good. But um, I just felt like it looked better and it looked more natural, even in days where like I'm not going super natural I just like my skin to look really natural I'm really kind of obsessed with like a skin focused makeup where like the skin is the best part and everything else is like fuck it you know we're going to do a really really simple eye look this is not the palette I need we are taking the morphe it's still not the palette I need I keep looking at the palette and not picking it up. There we go. <laughs> I'm taking the 35 OS palette and I'm taking this shade right here and just wipe, swiping it all over the eye. That's been my ride or die look lately. Like no fuss, no hassle. Takes 2.2 seconds. Like there's like two modes. There's like this that looks super natural. And then like a bit of a next level out like this. You see, you can like see the difference. Yeah. That's what I've been doing as of late. Just because I think it looks really pretty and really natural. And just like really great. And like throughout the day, like it doesn't really do much. It's reliable. It won't hurt me in the end. And then what I do is I take the brow, I'm actually going to sharpen this a little. What I do is I take the brown brow, I'm going to pull this, pull this mirror out, um, and just line my eye with the brown. And don't wing it out, just line the eye, just to give a little bit more definition. Um, and sometimes I use this pencil. Sometimes I use a pencil that's a titch cooler, but they're both brown. It just kind of depends on how I feel that day. You know? Yeah. And I just think it looks really nice and natural and pretty. This is a Black Radiance Bronzer in Blackberry. So pretty. Love it. To death. I just dropped my brush into a pile of clothes that you cannot see. <laughs> okay. Um, also, like, I've totally, like, left the house and looked in the mirror and been like, that looks unblended. But then, like, the way that, like, this little eye look works, like, it can be totally unblended. And no one gives a fuck. Because it's a nude. It's a nude shape, guys. It's a, it's a black girl nude. It's a black girl friendly nude. But yeah, if you guys have like any questions about like my senior year experience and my gap year, I'm really thinking about starting to do even more videos about that. Um, on my other channel, Tea Time with Lana, link down below. Gotta get that self promo going. Um, so totally, totally, totally hit me up about that because I would love to start doing my buns. Totally starting to come undone. The edges. The undone edges. My hair is totally in braids. I look... I usually do this with no wrap on, but I was not about to just be sitting on camera for like a straight 20 minutes with like... 
No cap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, that's it. I don't really like contour. I'm also on the hunt for like a contour shade for myself. I hear this is a great contour shade with the Sephora concealer lines. It's a hunt. It's a hunt. Before now, I'm really content with like what this does for me. Next, we're going to blush. I'm using e.l.f.'s blush palette in dark. This is their powder blush palette. And so I usually use these two. Is it Charlotte Tilbury who has her um, swoosh pop method with her, um, what is it, Con um, blushes where there's like a big swish color and then like a pop in the center that's what I'm going to do with these bottom two so this is going to be my swish I'm going to swish these up and down and then pop I'm also actually on a deal about to take this powder and just powder that I'm sorry it just it looks shiny I feel it I'm also going to powder right above I always keep this on hand because I always have like a little bit left and as I'm doing with the rest of my makeup I can like powder more of my problematic areas so about to switch with oh that's so much I never get oh god no this actually has like a mirror in it which is so great right oh god okay I'm so paranoid because I never get that much and I'm like no like oh my god I, I tried it I'm trying it what we attempt And this is just like an angle. This actually is supposed to be a contour blush, but I think it's really nice and pretty for blush. Okay, guys, so my camera got full. My card got full again. I know. I had to like go in, delete everything, everything, format a card. It was a whole hoot and nanny. So while I was doing all of that, I um, just put on blush. I put on mascara. Um, just for reference, the combination of mascara I use is Maybelline Great Lash and the original formula Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then I highlight it with the Star Trek Strange New Worlds Highlighter. And then spray down with Urban Decay All Nighter and we're ready to go. And so usually what I was saying was I save lipstick for the last because when I'm getting dressed I just don't like to have lipstick on it's like really restrictive for me and so I am using LAX from ColourPop I've been wearing this color a lot lately actually And that is the final look. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any more ideas for videos, comment it down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.